Hello, Sudoku fans. I came across the Sudoku.com website and I brought up an expert level Sudoku. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but we'll see how far I can get with this one without using pencil marks, as is, as you know, my specialty and my passion. Let's see how it goes. Well, I can see that this seven here and this seven and this seven puts a seven in this cell. And uh, well, at least that's a start, isn't it? Here's a little trick to uh, kickstart off. Uh, look at the two, three and a seven here. Uh, those two, three and a seven digits uh, force a two, seven and a three in these three cells. You can see that easily, can't you? Now there's a two and a seven here that can see these two cells and therefore this cell has got to be a three. And now these two cells will have to be a two and a seven. And because of the two and a seven here, we now know that these two cells will have to be a two and a seven as well in some order. So if these two cells have to be a two and a seven, and we have a three up here and we have a three down here, we know that a three will have to go in one of these two cells, don't we? And a ghost three in one of these two cells and the three here and the three here puts a three in this cell like so. A three here and here and this three puts a three in this cell and now we know that the three will have to go here in the top row. The three here, here, and the three gives us this three. And now the three here, 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 and the three here gives us this three like so. Now the six here, and the six here gives me a three, uh, gives me a six for one of these two cells. And uh, in combination with the six here, I now know that a six will have to go in one of these two cells. One of these three cells will have to be a six. And uh, of course, the two others will have to be a two and a seven. So a two, six and a seven for these three cells leaves a four and a five for these two cells. And this is a four, and that makes this cell a five and this cell a four. The five here and here puts a five in this cell. These three cells now have to be a one, six, and an eight in some combination. Since we also have a six in one of these three cells, and we have this six, we know that this six, this cell must be a six now. So if these three cells have to be a two, seven, and a six, and we have a two here and we have a seven here. These two, of course, have to be a two and a seven. I think we discussed that earlier anyway. And that leaves a nine for this cell. That's the last digit that would be missing from this cell. The nine here and here gives us this nine like so. Now this nine and this nine gives me a nine for one of these two cells and therefore for one of these two cells. And since a nine therefore not can, cannot go in this cell and we need a nine for this column six and we got a nine here and here, we can now pinpoint the nine and it needs to go in this cell. We need a one, four, and a five to complete this column. There is a five here that can see these two cells and therefore this cell is a five and these two cells have to be a one and a four. 
And actually, because of the four here, we know that this must be a one and this must be a four. We need a one, six, eight, and a nine to complete row three. There is a one, eight, and a nine here in this three by three box, and that makes this still a six. And now these three cells will have to be a one, eight, and a nine in some order. For row six, we still need to find a two, six, seven, and an eight. There's a two, six, and an eight that can see this cell. Therefore, that's got to be a seven. Now the seven here, here, and here gives us this seven and Therefore, this seven and this two. Now, these two cells have to be a one and a four in some order and can't place them at the moment, not yet. But uh, the two here and the two here gives me a two for this cell right here. And therefore, for this cell, because that's the only cell that can take a two in this column three. Now, and of course this four now gives me a four for this row like so. And the four here and this four gives me this four for column one. Remember the one, eight, and the nine we had going on here. That leaves, of course, a five and a six for these two cells. And since there is a six here, we know that this cell must be a five and this must be a six. Now the five here and the five here and this five gives me this five for row two. And the last remaining digit here now, of course, is a nine goes here. Now we know that a nine for this row will have to go in this cell or in this cell, right? Because of the nine here and the nine here. So we need to find a nine for one of these two cells. And that's pretty easy now because we found this nine. So this cell has got to be a nine now. And now we just need to find a one and a four for these two cells. We also need a one and a four for these two cells. And we need a one and a five for these two cells. And that's easy enough because we got a five up here. So the five goes here and the one here. Now the one here and here and here gives us this one. And now we just need to find a seven and a six for these two empty cells. There's a seven here. So clearly the six will go here and the seven here. This cell now has got to be a two. These two cells now have got to be an eight and a six. We got a six already here. So the eight goes here and the six here. And this cell now has got to be a seven. These two cells are two and an eight and I can't place them at the moment. These also this one of these has to be a two. Uh, let's see what we can turn up up here. It's going to be a one and an eight. No, no can do, not at the moment. Let's see. I'm sure that we are very close to finishing this puzzle. Well, for column one, we still need to find a one, six and a nine. We got a six here and we got a six down here. So this cell has got to be a six 
Now we need a one and a nine to complete the column. There is a nine down here, so this still must be a one and this must be a nine. Now this still is a one, of course, and this is a four. And the four here and four here puts a four in this cell. Now this cell is got to be a one and that makes this cell up here a one and this one now is a four. The four here, here, and this four gives us the four for the column. Now we just need to find a two and an eight for these two cells. There's a two down here, so this must be an eight and this must be a two. And now this cell has got to be a five. Now we just need to find a two and an eight for these two cells. And since we have an eight and a two here, we know that this is a two and this is an eight. And these two cells, of course, now have to be a seven has to be an eight and a nine. There is a nine here. So the nine goes here and the eight here and one eight here. And this has got to be a one. So friends of Sudoku, this was a so-called expert puzzle by sudoku.com. Um, I don't really feel that I'm an expert, uh, but I could solve this without using pencil marks and annotation. So it's probably just a misnomer by sudoku.com. And uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed it and that you gained something from it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.